Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your Georgia three-time state champion from Kennesaw Mountain, Genevieve on Genevieve, um, three-time. How does it sound to be a three-timer? What do you think? Um, I wish I was a four-timer, obviously, but you know, mistakes happen. Um, I'm proud of what I've done in high school. So very cool. Yeah, it's you know, one of the things that's always interesting to me, especially since I never won a state title, is that is the feeling any different between winning the first one and winning the second one and winning the third one? Um, I would say yes. I know my reaction was probably different. Um I think people were well, I think you made like a video post of me winning my second one and I didn't really have a reaction. And there were a lot of comments saying, Oh my god, it's just a normal Saturday for her. But I think in my head it was kind of the same. I think I've been on big stages quite frequently, but um the third one I was really excited because my friends were there. I didn't know they were there. Like Raven and Lily. Uh I don't remember her last name. Ch- Chavis. Chavis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chavis, yeah. They were there and I didn't, I knew Raven was there, but I didn't know Lily was there. So I was really excited. I ran over them, but I think the feeling for the most part was kind of the same. Yeah. Okay. And and I think that, I think actually the way you said that was absolutely right in that you've been on big stages, right? And, and, um, you know, you've wrestled at women's nationals, you wrestled in Fargo in the finals, you know, you, you've had all these different experiences. Um, how do you maintain your focus on, you know, achieving your goal in Georgia? Because, because, you know, once you've been on those big stages, it's, it might be a little bit hard to kind of maintain that focus of winning another one. Um, I think for me, the perspective was still the same, no matter I'm, I'm on the Fargo final stage or the first match at regionals I Donovan always tells us to it's so good the wrestling mat is the same it's the same circle it's the same mat that you always wrestle on and I've really taken that to heart because I used to get really nervous when I wrestled um at Fargo or even just at regionals because you know my reputation's on the line and I think his quote really I think about every single time like okay it's the same circle it's the same wrestling mat two lines Mm -hmm. in the center gotta stay in the center um so yeah, I don't I don't think I really change how I think about wrestling, whether I'm on the big stage or a little one. It doesn't really matter. Has that does that mantra or that that message really helped you so that you don't feel as much pressure? Yeah, I think I used to feel a lot of pressure at local tournaments, which sounds a little weird, but mm-hmm. I was really worried about oh my gosh, if I lose or if I get scored on, um, people are gonna think something about me or I would get nervous about my reputation and um, it's helped me a lot that he said that to me. I don't remember when he said that. Maybe yeah. in trials or something. Okay. But he tells well, everybody. So. It, and probably in the other direction of, you know, this, I know this is a big stage, but it's no different than what you've been doing. But you can actually take that back to a smaller stage and use it exactly the same way. So, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. All right, Genevieve. So you and I know each other pretty well, but. I want to ask you some questions off the mat before we talk about your run to a third title. And most importantly, I'm really interested in kind of the decisions you're weighing in the future. So we're going to get to that in a a bit, but off the mat. All right, let's go with, um, let's go with, are you a cat person or a dog person? I don't, my mom's allergic to cats. Um, I don't really mind cats. I'm also allergic, but we have dogs. We have a corgi and a dog mix. I'm a okay. Dog. Okay. Yes. So you more of a dog person, but based upon what has to happen in your house. Right. I yes. got you. All right. Sushi. Yes or no? Yes. I love sushi. I you love do? Sushi. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's one per- of the things I get sad when I cut weight. I can't eat sushi. So actually, I was going to ask you that. Was you probably weren't cutting a ton of weight, but you're always kind of, wrestlers are watching their weight. Is that the yes. single food that you miss? No. So actually my favorite food is lasagna. And so when my mom makes the lasagna, it's bad for me and Ronan because we eat a lot of it. Uh, I miss lasagna. My other favorite food tied with lasagna is pho. It's like a Vietnamese like soup. Um, so I miss that. Boba tea. I don't know. We eat a lot in our house. So Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I, I eat a lot too. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, if I gave you a time machine, would you, you could only put it in one direction, go to the future or go to the past. Which way are you going? Uh, 
don't know. Probably the future, just because uh, there are definitely bad implications of going to the past. Like, if you change one thing, it can change anything. So I don't want to mess anything up. You know? All right. So you're going to head to the future. You're going to head to the future, like, four years from now, 10 years from now, 100 years from now? Probably somewhere where I'm not alive, just because I want to see what's going on. But okay. I don't want to see what's going on in my life. I want to keep it a surprise. Do you think we're going to be run, like, by, like, AI and stuff? Oh, I don't know, man. But yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> so so i was gonna ask you what you have a fear of what would be that fear is it something oh, like that or is it like spiders i mean what 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 is it oh, i don't mind spiders actually my parents would tell us when we were little that without spiders our world would be infected by bugs and then i was like oh, hey man i'll leave the spiders to do what they need to do absolutely um, i'm trying to think i'm afraid of heights i guess yeah, like, I don't do roller coasters or water slides. I actually I do do water slides, but I don't do roller coasters. You do water slides, but not roller coasters. Right, it makes no sense. But okay, what about what about if uh like jumping out of an airplane? Would you do that? That's what Ronan wants to do when he turns eighteen. I will not be participating. I'll be on the <laughs> ground waiting for him. You're like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on the ground. Um, if I gave you a chance to go to to space, would you go to space? No. Well, that was easy. No. <laughs> Is there a reason? I like my feet firmly on the ground. Firmly on the ground. All right. Yeah. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, Probably Korea. My grandpa's Korean. I really want to go. So. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Um, So let's talk just a little bit about food. What's the best breakfast food? I don't like breakfast. I eat... I ate a Costco chicken for breakfast this morning. Not the whole thing, but <laughs> that's what I ate. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm on a weight cut, but I was like, I don't want eggs. So I'm going to eat chicken. So I ate chicken. Um, yeah, I don't really like breakfast food, but it, probably I'm a pancake girl, not a waffle person. Okay. Pancake. All right. You smother it in like uh, syrup and stuff or no? Mm, not really. I just, the really. only thing I don't like is butter. I don't like butter on my pancakes at all. I think really? it's for, Yeah, I don't like butter. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, is there a skill that Genevieve has off the mat that we don't know about? Um, well, I have a baking account. I like baking. My Instagram account and TikTok account is all baking stuff. Is so, it? Yes, I have. I think it's, I might be linked in my wrestling profile, but I like to bake. I started baking during COVID. My dad got COVID and I uh, F COVID, you know, the whole word, but <laughs> on my first cake, um, it was, I was disappointed when he told me he couldn't taste it because he had COVID. I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really liked it. So I started baking from there. I bake a lot of like macarons and cakes and stuff. So. Okay. All right. So so a uh, macaron macaron is uh it's like a little French cookie, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it have what does it have in the middle? Is it like a um, cream? There's icing, which is like just buttercream, or you can put like a ganache or. Um, like a jam. I like the ones with homemade jam the best because then I get to make jam and I really like jam. So, so you make jam? Mm -hmm. It's really easy. You just take frozen, like frozen fruit, like frozen strawberries or something. You put it in a saucepan with like just sugar and you mm -hmm. just crank the heat and you just have to sit there and stir it for like 10 minutes. All right. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm old, but I learned something new every single day. Yeah. All right. So let's go on the mat. When, uh, when did you start wrestling? How'd you start wrestling? Do you remember the experience and who got you into it? Okay. So my family is not actually a wrestling family. Um, they are I, now. Yeah, we are now. Obviously, <laughs> um, I wasn't like super athletic as a kid. I tried like the like, earlier sports, like dance and gymnastics. And I just didn't really like it. I've never really done an outside sport. I realized that the other day when I was talking to my friends but in, when we moved to Georgia, I was in first grade, and we started with jiu-jitsu, actually. Um, and my friend Pedro actually suggested um, wrestling. So we started wrestling at Pope when I was in fourth grade, like the Pope Junior program. But mm -hmm. I did not like it because they didn't really like girls there, so, or at least when I was there. They're, they have changed. They have changed. They have women's program now. Mm -hmm. But um, so I quit. And I'm trying to think of how I should tell this because my brother will laugh at me if I lie. But um, <laughs> he won a state title. I don't remember how old he was. I think it was seven, maybe. And okay. I was like, Dang, that's so cool. And it was part jealousy, part inspiration. I'll leave it to that because he likes to say I was jealous of him and I came back. But I was inspired. He still inspires me to this day. 
Um, and so I came back to wrestling when I was in sixth grade. And so that's when I usually tell people I started wrestling is when I was in sixth grade. Um, yeah, I've wrestled ever since. Was so how, another... I'm sorry, go ahead. Is there another question I forgot? Yeah, no, no, no. Actually, let me follow that up with, um, so you were, you were pretty young and didn't have the, the necessarily the best experience until sixth grade, mm -hmm. um, as it relates to it. Um, and Ronan kind of helped you pull back into the sport. Um, was there like some question of like whether you would do that or not because of the experience that you had when you were a little bit younger? Um, no, I think I did like wrestling because I, I was really into jujitsu. Like I really liked it. I wanted to be an MMA fighter at one point, changed my views on that a little bit, but, um, he actually switched. I, th I think he really liked it when we were at Pope, but he wanted more. So we switched to level up and then I saw, I think CG at a practice one time and I was like, oh my gosh, there are other girls that go here. Then I saw Callie and I was like, okay, well maybe I can, maybe I can do this. And so I went back to wrestling when I was in sixth grade more because I saw other women and I was kind of inspired by that. And so part of the reason I have kept wrestling for so long is so I can inspire the other little girls that are there. A level up, we do have a lot of littles now, like anywhere from 13 down like we have a couple like six-year-olds and i was like oh my gosh it's really inspiring to see that they're really loving the sport and i'm really excited about it yeah how um how much does that like do you have an opportunity to kind of talk to them and show them moves and work with them a little bit yeah so we're still working on getting an actual girls practice but i used to coach the beginners practice and i would work with the girls a lot um a lot of the like 13 year olds like we have like lillian and a couple others and so I wrestle with them at our actual practice just every once in a while during live because Lillian's going to world team trials with us so um trying to get her ready for that but I don't really have too much of an opportunity to work with the little kids but I try to talk with them as much as I can because their practice is right before hours so I'll come in and just say hey whatever ask them if they need any help but I would like to continue coaching when I'm in college because I do really like coaching and teaching little kids I think it's fun um, sometimes they don't really take to it too well but it's all right. I know they're there for fun, but it's, it's enjoyable. Very cool. Very cool. Well, um, you know, one of the things I, I wanted to ask you, I mean, we talked a little bit at the beginning of winning three state titles and that sort of thing. Um, how you go to a school that I think you're the only girl that competes at Kennesaw mountain or one of the few, like, I don't see a whole lot. Yeah. Um, is that, a is, is that hard? Is that kind of, you know, what, you know, you see like Carrollton or, you know, other schools that have like this huge team. And when you mentioned Raven and Lily, who were at Jackson County, and you obviously are connected with them. I was just curious about kind of you're forging a path at a school that doesn't necessarily have that path. Yeah. So I always wanted to have a team like the Carrolltons and the Gainesvilles. Um, I really tried I thought after I won my first state title that girls would come flocking to the wrestling team for some reason and that was not the case um no one wanted to wrestle super super lame we were really struggling to even keep the men on our team at that point so we switched coaches this year yeah we but he was he was our assistant coach the year before that but coach lot is has really done a great job in growing our men's wrestling team um we actually had two more girls wrestling this year. Well, we technically had three, but um, Laura sadly broke her collarbone um, wow. really early on in practice when I was not there yet. From I was wrestling after she was there too. But we have, I think next year we'll have three to five girls wrestling. And honestly, I'm proud of that because that's more than we've ever had. So, it you know, it's it's slow growth, but it is growth. I don't really think it made a huge difference to me just because I have been wrestling on a team with boys for so long. Like for the longest time, it's just been like me, May, and like Brockland and Kate, all of them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Difference. No, I I get it. It's just and and I think that it's great that you're. I mean, it's slowly growing, you know, and that's you're having that sort of impact. That's really cool. Um. So what is next for Genevieve? Okay, so that's a big question. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> so I I know obviously I do want to go to college. Um, my struggle is finding an education level with a women's wrestling team that I'm happy with because I do like academically challenging classes. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, so the, for those people who don't know, and Genevieve's not actually sharing it, um, let's see, Columbia, <laughs> Lehigh, North Carolina, Chapel Hill, right? Yeah, I got into Georgia Tech. And Georgia, Georgia Tech. Iowa, Case Western, which is a school my parents went to. In Cleveland? Yes. Yes. So, so, so very high academic school, but you still want the connection to to wrestling? You want to wrestle in college? Yes, but I I think education is far more important to me. So if I can find a place where even if like like a Lehigh or Columbia, they I'm happy with wrestling on the club team. I'm happy with supporting the women's wrestling until they do become an actual team. I'm completely happy with that. Um, I think it would be nice to be on a women's wrestling team just because I've never really experienced that before. The only time I experienced the women's wrestling team is like national duels. Um, and even then, some of us don't really know each other all as well because we do go to different schools, but that's where most of my friendships have formed with like Raven and Lily and all of them. But I, I'm okay with wrestling in a club. I'm happy with that. So I just, I'm not really sure. I still need to weigh out my options, but I'm not quite sure yet. Okay. Well, I'm not going to push. I, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, you're going to let us all know when you actually do decide though, yes, right? I will. I have until, I think they push it back from May 1st to May 15th, I think. So I have practically until the end of school because so, so, so we're going to hear an announcement May fourteenth. Practically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be really last minute. Last minute. May fourteenth at eleven fifty nine. There you go. There you go. All right. So the last question I have for you is the question that I've been asking everybody, and that is, why wrestle? Why is wrestling special to you? Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I always tell people like I won most athletic at my school this year, but if you throw a ball at me, I'm not catching it. Like it's not going to happen. So I think part of it was definitely because I wasn't really good at other sports as a kid, but I think wrestling just brings a different sense of like camaraderie and team. What was I going to say? Sportsmanship and like being on a team just because it is a contact sport. Um, I really like the fact that we can, have an individual sport and a team sport at the same time because you know there are tournaments where you go out there and you win on your own but duels are really I really really love duels I, it's a little stressful because I am bigger I do have to win on the end side because sometimes I am the biggest one on the team and that's really difficult but I really enjoy that experience I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what to say actually I just really like wrestling I don't know I like all no. my friends that was great. That was great. I think that it's like you said, it's not an easy question, you know, and why do we love the sport? And, you know, there's lots of different things. And I think that you, you hit the nail on the head, you know, it is an individual sport, you have to be an individual, but there is that team aspect, which is so much fun, and can be so engaging. So I, think no, I, you, also, yeah. I also really like the just growing the sport aspect, because I, you know, I am woman, and there's not as many women in the sport, I wrote so many essays about this for college, but um, I think women's wrestling has increased like 200% since 2018 in Georgia alone. And that's really big. And women are, they're really liking the sport. It's, it's becoming really popular. It's getting harder because there's more competition now. And it's really exciting to see the sport grow. And like I said, to help those little girls when I didn't have a mentor um, when I was their age, and I just want to be the mentor that I wish I always had. And I think that's probably the most enjoyable part for me is just watching this word grow. So, Very cool. Well, Genevieve, I want to say congratulations on three state titles. Um, I want to wish you the best of luck in your decision uh, you. about where you want to go and continued wrestling and that sort of thing in the future. And uh, yeah, man, it's been, it's been so much fun watching you uh, from a freshman to a senior and, and get better and better and better. Thank you. All right, you take care. All right, take care. Bye.